Okay, so I do not know how I feel. I cannot or have not been able to verbalize or to really kind of articulate how it is that I've been feeling lately. And if you happen to feel the same way, please tune in for the remainder of this video. I feel like maybe we could connect, maybe it will give us both some much needed community and it will help us to figure this thing out together. Okay. Hey everybody, my name is AJ and welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network where I love to infuse spirituality and practicality for the culture. If you are interested in topics as such, please like, share, and subscribe, share with loved ones or anybody who you feel could best benefit from these teachings, these communications that we're doing here. Okay, so let's begin. So lately I have been feeling very like okay so i will use the exact term that has just been popping in my mind right so lonesome and i say that because for some reason my mind will not let me say that i am lonely okay and i don't even really think that is lonely is even the proper word to describe what i feel or what i've been feeling lately lonesome has been popping in, into my mind and i think it more articulates how i feel even though like i said in the beginning of this video i don't know i'm not sure if this is it so it's actually funny because just right before i started to record this video I was like you know what let me look up lonesome versus lonely like what's the difference between the two do they have the same meaning what's going on so i'm lit literally going to read verbatim what i found on the internet and literally like it popped up people were also asking this so i felt really tapped in and i actually felt like oh god thank you this isn't just me i'm not alone here okay so here we go so you know when you type into google it'll say like people also ask what is the difference between lonely and lonesome and i'm reading it verbatim okay so it says lonely and lonesome are synonymous but generally lonely is meant to mean lack of companionship and personification of that lack okay so hence personification of that lack e.g houses cannot be lonely unless it is personified whereas lonesome signifies something desolate secluded or solitary like a lonesome house okay so that literally resonated with me tenfold and i had like a light bulb moment when i read that statement because i'm like wow my mind will not let me identify because when i feel like when we're talking about personification we're like placing identity on that word on that statement right so like lonesome would be more of like a description word right it would be more like an adjective versus lonely would be more like a noun we're like describing it we're like placing our identity on it like i am a lonely person i feel very lonely whereas lonesome is kind of like I just have this air of lonesomeness like I, I just i don't feel lonely i just feel like you know i'm just here you know what i'm saying so like they said desolate or like like a solitude or like you know so in that case i was like wow there's two ways that i'm looking at this i have literally um went through a pivotal stage i think in my development where i have shifted my identity or my kind of like frame of mind to not identify with things that do not serve me and when it comes to not being able to articulate how we are feeling in a particular moment and like maybe for instance you are that person who typically can like you you don't repress your emotions you don't that's not what you kind of do as like a coping mechanism you let like let's say you typically like 
are able to convey your emotions whether you know you do it in the best way possible or the healthiest way possible or you don't right but you're able to like convey that emotion so that it gets out of you versus repress represses inside of you and it makes things worse right um i am that type of person to where i am able to kind of like kind of understand how i'm feeling but i think what's going on now is because so i've started a business this is a part of my business my youtube channel crazy dreamer network i like to call it network but you know it's just crazy dreamer and um i have really been focusing my energy on work on my business right so i feel like there's two ways that this can go there is the way that yeah i probably i don't want to say repress because i just don't see this is what i'm saying i don't want to say repress because i don't feel like i'm repressing the emotions that i feel i just don't feel that way um but i will say that i am maybe not allowing certain emotions to get to me versus how i usually could if i wasn't placing my faculties in somewhere else right if i wasn't utilizing that energy and placing it into another like objective right so like let's say i didn't have a business let's say i wasn't really focused on a particular aim maybe then i could kind of let those emotions kind of like engulf me and i would feel i would feel that i would have to more so come to the conclusion of well, what is going on like so i can feel better whereas now i'm transmuting the energy and i'm redirecting it so although i am also able to kind of transmute that energy into a more positive outlet i.e my business um maybe sometimes i won't be the best at like just off the top of the dome being able to describe how it is i'm feeling at a particular moment because the energy has already kind of like been transmuted into another objective into another like state i hope this makes sense guys because to be honest i came on camera today and i'm just like let me just let it out and hopefully somebody feels me hopefully somebody is going through the same thing and hopefully you know this can resonate with people because i'm telling you before i press play i was like a what am i even going to talk about and be like i literally like don't know how i'm feeling so i wrote a couple notes so if i'm glancing up and down please forgive me but um so the notes were like i'm currently unable to articulate my feelings at this point right so we got to we got to that and then i put i guess the best way i could describe it is i feel lonesome but i don't think i feel lonely and we touched on that too now here is what we're about to touch on right now what is happening when we are a unable to do this i actually just touched on that so um you know i really hope this resonates with anybody who might be feeling the same way like i said this is a spirituality based community this is a spirituality based channel so this could totally be astrological this is very much so reminding me of the king of cups energy i don't know if any of you guys know tarot but i will give a little uh description of the king of cups so the king of cups in tarot is a minor arcana right you could kind of google that if you don't know the intricacies of what that means but the cup suit is about emotions right it's cup so you fill a cup up with water you fill it up you know you use that cup as a vessel to fill something up so it's conveyed by emotions our feelings you know that so the king of cups kings in the suit when you could kind of like compare it to like if you guys know like playing cards like if you pl like those bicycle playing cards that we use to you know as kids and stuff like that if you play poker so the king is typically symbolizes wisdom right like we have acquired certain amount of wisdom in our journey and in our processes right so i've been getting a lot of king of cups energy and really what the king of cups symbolizes is someone who might be it's it's literally a king 
on sitting on a throne on a slab of concrete in the middle of the ocean i kid you not so this is the king of cups i just had to show y'all so this is what the king of cups look looks like and it's literally a king on a slab of concrete sitting on his throne in the middle of the ocean and it's he's like stone face he's like i'm okay i'm chilling like even though so it's conveyed what the symbolism means is really this person has reached a certain level of emotional maturity that it really doesn't matter what's going on around them at this moment in time they are going with it whatever it is they're learning how to or they have learned how to just move with the waves right go with the flow okay and they are emotionally grounded and mature and i i believe that's what that symbolizes by the throne being placed on that slab of concrete so i say all that to say um and i think i'm gonna incorporate more of that like what i just did in these videos but i say all that to say this could be an astrological thing okay a we're in cancer season b I, we just had a new moon in cancer yesterday so cancerian energy cancers are water signs right so boom it's all about emotions emotionality family connections uh kind of like how you feel and they're very emotional but i feel like they can also be kind of hmm, how can i put this cancers can be very emotional but when a cancerian person is at like when they're most balanced they are able to like take the reins on their emotions right so to speak so if you have been feeling like this if you have been feeling like i cannot really pinpoint my emotions right now i don't really know how i feel um i would say just kind of chill take a breather sit down ask yourself this question in silence and in solitude right and uh watch what comes to you watch what comes to you because i literally just did that before i pressed play on my camera and boom it came to me and i kind of just unpacked it all here so i hope this video resonated with you guys i was kind of just talking i hope it makes sense i know i'm so sorry the lighting is like shifty af right now um but i hope this resonated with you guys i hope it touched something within you because this this helped me so um just by doing this very cathartic so i hope this resonated like i said um if you are interested in a personal reading my website address will be in the description box below and you can leave an inquiry on my website just put personal reading and then i will get back to you um also you guys tell me how you feel in the comments like are you feeling this too like am i alone here <laughs> i don't feel like i am but you know i could be so i love you guys very much i really hope this message got to you in good spirits um please let's stay connected you know let's stay connected like share and subscribe share with loved ones subscribe to this channel there will be more content like this to come okay i love you guys very much please stay safe Stay blessed and um, have a great day. Bye.